morning. Good morning. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday morning, and I'm off to work. A little bit tired today. That's okay. I can kind of um, shimming it a little bit. I had about one, one and a half hour too long work time yesterday, so I can actually go home a little bit earlier. Um, basically for lunch or something. We'll see. Um, but I'm have to head in. I'm gonna be late because I had a hard time getting up this morning. And I think that is because I spent last night not going to bed as I should. I have to kind of rectify that. But good morning guys. I hope you have an awesome day. Hi guys, I just got home. It's been a pretty good day. Um, I wanted to rant a little bit about copyright rules and stuff for you today and I hope I don't offend any person or make you sad or anything but I kind of just want to make people aware of what copyright is and, and why you should follow it. So to start with, um, we all know that breaching copyright is copying patents and selling them on. Um, sell, selling or giving away your PDFs are also illegal. Um, when you buy a PDF you don't buy the patent, you buy a license and that license is for you alone. Usually it's for one use but most designers says if you want to make one or two for your children or anything like that it's okay as long as it's not for selling as a business. Um, if you have a patent paper, patent that you have bought uh, in a kit or in a book, a book shouldn't be uh, separated, magazine shouldn't be separated, but you can sell them on because you have bought a physical goods and goods are allowed to be sold on after use. So that's basically the simple copyright rules when it comes to buying and selling patents. Now, when it comes to making patterns or or buying designs, selling patterns, or buying p patterns that are designed, we get into a little bit of a jungle. And I personally have taken the decision, and I took it a while ago, to don't buy anything that I don't know is licensed properly. That means I do not buy Disney creations, um, I have a few patterns from magazines that were properly licensed, small um, baby Donald Duck and stuff like that. Uh, they were properly licensed for those magazines. I still have the magazines, so I still can cross touch them. But I do not buy any kind of Disney creations. I do not buy any kind of Warner Brothers creations because I don't want to be, I could always ask them if they're licensed or anything, but um, usually the creator will say that they have, they are licensed to the designer. The problem is um, the art, the art creator, if it's fan art, um, the designer don't own the uh, copyright. Basically the whole thing is Fan art, it's not illegal to create fan art, it's a, but at the creation of that fan art, the copyright automatically goes to the company that owns the copyright for those uh, characters. So say, um, The Little Mermaid, because Disney is one of those that is very, very strongly uh, working towards keeping their brands and all that. The Little Mermaid. If I would make a Little Mermaid painting, painting and hang on my wall, um, the copyright of that mermaid painting will automatically fall to Disney. So if Disney likes my painting, they can actually use it on their merch without asking me. Because they already own the copyright rules, or copyright of that character and so they own all the derivative ver works from that and you can make make her your own but if it shows that it is from the Disney mermaid then you're out of luck but I think the little mermaid is actually the story the little mermaid 
is actually under under uh, public domain now. It's a Danish a writer who actually wrote the book about it. So if you base your work on his work, uh, you have the copyright rules. So basically that's one thing. Um, there is a whole bu bunch of designs out there that is very shown. You really see the similarities between the, little, the Disney's Little Mermaid and that creation. And then the copyright is actually on Disney. So if you sell that creation or sell a license to make a pattern from it you're under copyright breach towards uh, Disney and the person who bought that license is also under copyright breach so you're not allowed it's a whole big mess of that and therefore I keep my way long away from this I even taking the step to not buy patterns from people who calls it fair juice because when you earn money from a character whether or not your first step was fair use it doesn't keep it doesn't stay in the realm of fair use if you build a company around those creations because what you are basically doing is you're taking a character that these companies probably put millions of dollars for PR to actually get the fan base of these characters that you, they, they have done the work to get this character out there and then you just kind of piggybacking on that you don't have to do all of the PR. You don't have to, because you have the fan base that will do it for you and you will get everything for free. This is why we do have copyright, because if a big company would do that on a creation you had made, you would be furious. But a lot of people don't see it that way when it's the other way around. And therefore, I personally have now chosen to don't go for copyright characters. Keep away from that, totally. Whether or not it is uh, licensing or fair use, I don't do it. And that is my choice. But I kind of just wanted to tell you about it and tell you what it's all about so that you can make your own choices. And as long as you don't actively choose to spread information and saying that this is not against the rules then you're my best friend but if someone chooses to do this and then on top of that chooses to kind of tell people what's tell people that the law isn't the law or something I, I get a pretty bit angry it's a it's one of these things that really burned my heart but yeah I hope I didn't offend someone and I've been wanting to talk to you about it for a long time, so yeah. And if you have any questions, just comment in the comment and we will can discuss it. You can email me, we can do it publicly, we can do it privately, anything, if you have any questions. Yeah, now I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do some cross-stitching and I need to edit a video, but that's all. Yeah. Hey guys, it is evening. And I'm about to head to bed because I'm very, very tired. <laughs> I have... I have really had to push myself to do my musts today. When I got home, I was so tired. And all I wanted to do was sit down and cross-stitch. But I hadn't, again, edited the video I was supposed to edit. That is supposed to be scheduled to go up today, tomorrow. So I kind of had to do that. I'm hoping that I'm getting back some of my energy soon so that I can start making things and be creative as I have been. I've been pretty beat for a couple of days, very tired. But I shouldn't whine about it, right? I shouldn't whine about it, I should do fun things. I have done a whole bunch of cross stitching. I have uh, finished a whole color um, and I'm on for the bears, I'm working on the bears, but pr 
probably tomorrow morning I will not be working on the bears. I will put them uh, away for a little bit because tomorrow should be the release of the next frame for the story time sampler. So I thinking I'm gonna do that because it's fun and because I like being kind of on top of it. So I'm thinking about uh, putting away the bears, doing that frame and then taking the bears out again. But we'll see. I will work tomorrow, my four hours, which is going to be very, very nice because I don't know. I so want to work, but I so don't have the energy for it and it sucks, but at least I will meet my co-workers and I did a good thing today. Uh, I do a lot of things all the time. Um, my job is not only like coding, it is reviewing other people's codes and stuff and, and kind of have conversations with people about other things and stuff. So I've been running around doing things. Um, I only were there for those couple of hours, but it was good working. I hope I can do more of that. I'm going to do that tomorrow. So, I'm going to head to bed now. It's a good night's sleep time. Don't let the bed bugs bite.